Okay, so um, I wish Demos was exclusively this could be a, a real military short contractor. Video. I've been wanting to do this video for a while, and I did sort of record it once a while ago. But when I did it, I was sick at the time, so it sounded terrible. So um, yeah. So for this video, I'm basically just going to show you how to build possibly one of the best ships in the game. At least as far as I'm concerned, like it's a ship, but once you build it, it will last you the entire game. As you, like, as you can go, you can upgrade it, but you can build it straight away at like borderline at the start of the game. Um, in order to get the money, in order to build it, you're gonna need roughly around 50,000 credits, roughly. And that's really easy to do, just play the game as soon as you start, uh, mine all the resources straight away. Um, when you go through the pirates, just pick up anything you can pick up, you know, ammo, guns, spacesuits, any loose objects lying around. If you as soon want as you to get survive the out there, you come to the right place. Away, uh, to all the different vendors, and then once you've sold everything, uh, go through the quest. So go to the large, uh, speak to Constellation, uh, they'll give you some credits, and then once you've done that, uh, keep going through the quest until you uh, speak to the Vanguard officer. When you speak to him, he'll offer you a chance to join the Vanguard. Do it, but you know, as you're going through the sort of introduction, uh, hit all the murals when you get into the simulation. Try and, if you can, beat level 6 in the simulation. Once you get through all of that and get back to him, um, you know, you'll say, you know, you can sign up. You go through all of that, you sign on, and then he'll give you a huge amount of credits. It's like a starting bonus if you do really well. And, um, yeah, once you get all of that, you follow Sarah, and eventually you'll end up on Mars. From Mars, you want to come straight to here, so I'm going to show you where we are. So, yeah, you will end up on Mars if you go through the main quest. And once you're there, you just come straight to Deimos, pretty much. The, uh, the Deimos die yard. And from here, this is the best place to build a ship. So, I'm going to be showing you how to build it here, but if you. Um, but yeah, so the ship we're actually building, you can see in front of me, it's, uh, it's this one. I'm not sure what's gone wrong, but the actual hoplite that you can buy, I will try and show you, although I'm level 2, so I might not be able to uh, uh, show you it, but this is the ship we're building. The ship you can buy looks nothing like this. It's, um, I'll show you what I mean. But yeah, this is essentially what we're building. And it's one of the best ships in the game, like I said, because it'll last you the whole game. If you, you know, depending on what you want, so, uh, depending on your playstyle, yeah, this will 100% last you the entire game. Because I've done a few playthroughs with that's for shit I built, and it's lasted because it's really easy. Demos ships are responsible for the compass. So, yeah, like I said, it's going to cost you around roughly 50,000 credits. I if think. you can't afford our ship quite yet, uh, let's get you set up. So, if you can do that, that's fine. We've just got the basic frontier, so what you want to do is delete all of that. You don't need it. Uh, to start off, you just go over to. Base, there we go. Got yourself a landing bay. Uh, once you get the landing bay, um, now I like to change up the design just slightly. So, as you've seen on the one I showed you, the reactor and the, um, the grav drive is at the back of the ship. I like to put them under the ship. So, uh, where is it? I see, yeah, you got your grav drive here. Reactors. So level one, you don't really have much in the way of options. For I have the good ones. I have the good ones. Black. And that one will have to go here. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. So, yeah, once you've got this down, the next thing you want to do is get your habitation down. So this is the bit where this, this is the part where this is the reason why this is the best ship in the game. So, say you want like a full crew of like eight people. That's really easy to do with this ship. You just um, get yourself a control station, crew that on. And the best part about this ship, no ladders for you to worry about at all. Uh, except for one. Uh, where am I? Yep, there you go. So you just create 
yourself an uh, oil if you want a little captain's quarters for yourself. Uh, you and, um, you're going to want, say, a workshop. Basic design. And because we're not having the reactor and the, um, uh, the what's it going to call it? The graph right at the back. You can also have enough space to throw in a uh, science lab. And that will cover all your crafting needs. Um, and give you enough space for a small crew. Especially once you start uh, throwing weapons in. Should be able to yeah, snap that to claw. This is also when you do the simulation as part of the van I was signing up at Vanguard. If you go into third person, this is the ship that you're flying in that um, in the simulation, which is the only other place you'll see the ship other than the model. Because I, I forgot to show you, but I'm going to try and show you after I've done this. The actual hoplite you can buy looks nothing like this. So, um, yeah. now at this point. a model which allows me to flip these upside down so you like to put one on the side as well. Yeah. This is an unmodded version of the game. So uh, yeah, I can't do that. So I think. Yeah, go just some extra landing gear. Or you could put a skag. to do but um, in a minute with the engines but yeah for now I'm just gonna do that and then fuel that's really simple just throw It, I think um, that gets you the, um, 
the hoplite. Or at least the original hoplite. So, um, yeah. And I like to. Where's the. There's. So I like to put two or more of these just on the back. This is a design choice. Not having any landing gear at the back is a little thingy for me. So, yeah. So. This is the basic, you know, hoplite shape. Now, the reason why I say this is the best ship in the game is because there is a ton of uh, weapons. So you got two there, one there, uh, one there, and um, two here. So that's a ton of weapon slots. Plus, you can put one on the top of this. And if you really want to, you can swap this cockpit out for the, um, the Stroud Eklund one, which has two weapon slots on the underside as well. So, uh, yeah, and then because how flat that is at the top, you'll have a weapon slot on top, and this does have one on the bottom as well. And then you can swap that out for this, and that'll have two weapons on the top that can shoot, so one shoots over the other. But something else I, but something I like to do, just to get some extra speed out of the ship, is bring these forward, and then you can have two more engines, right? Obviously, in order to do that, you need more credits, and you need a better ground drive, which I don't have at this level. So just to start, you're going to want to go through that build, and then, you know, and it's just a simple case of picking and choosing your weapons to go on the ship, of which, you know, I don't have any available real options, but yeah, um, I like to usually go with... Probably not gonna have enough credits to get this done. I have ex I made sure I had exactly 50,000, but you probably might have more. Uh, small mechanics. Just about 50,000 credits, and you have yourself what I consider to be one of the best starting ships in the game. I'm also missing a shield. Yeah, I'm missing a shield. No missiles, but you know, do have some auto cannons. But yeah, there you go. That's um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, um, roughly fifty five credits. So. Yeah, make sure you bring 60,000 and that will cover the cost completely. And you'll have, um, uh, let's just check how much it cost. The gun inside the ship. The gun is inside. Some sense change that might have been. There we go. So, yeah, four auto cannons, and um, to get the missiles, that would cost you. Yeah, so bring 60,000 credits or, you know, 55, and that should get you to this, which is pretty much the best iron ship in the game. And the reason why I say it's the best iron ship in the game, so. Um, it's a great shape, you know, it's very cool looking, at least in my opinion, this looks cool. It's law friendly in terms of build, because 
you can see the ship in the game. And I'm thinking the reason why the one you can buy looks different is this is probably like an old version of the Hoplite, like Colony War era, so 30 years old, and which is why the one you can buy looks different. But, um, yeah, so it's a great looking ship, and the reason why I say it's nice is because it's easy to upgrade. So, weaponry, you have, you know, four slots you know, on the sides, two in the middle, then these two here. That's plenty of weapons, and these weapons can be upgraded so you can have better missiles, uh, better, you know, cannons, and when you unlock automated weapons, you can have an automated weapon here, an automated weapon there. Aiming at the sides, maybe one at the back, aiming backwards. Yeah, you can put auto weapons on these, so you could put two auto weapons either side, aiming backwards. Turning this into a real, like, you know, quite a lot of firepower. And obviously, the more weapons you put on the ship, the more crew you can have. So, this can take up a full crew of eight. Um, actually, I've been able to get this up to a crew of ten. So, um, yeah, this will allow you to have a full crew, and it, say if you just want to be on your own. So you don't want a crew at all, you can still, you know, you just change out the haps to be more of a living. So you can have like a captain's one here, a workshop, science lab, and an armory and all that stuff towards the back. Uh, for me, I always like to go for more of a uh, assault squad dropship because I'm always, I'm always going vanguard. So as I kind of uh, thing, so I'll, um, I'll turn like this into a armory and this into an infirmary and then have the thing. Yeah, this is essentially the best ship in the game because it's easy to upgrade. Like these under here, you can upgrade these two to a better ground driver and a better reactor as the game goes on. And then when you unlock the big ones, like the really big ground drives and reactors, you know, the ones which give you like 40 uh, energy points and whatnot, what all you can do then is you can delete these two. You can get some pretty good cargo holds that will fit in that gap and look really cool because they have the angular lines. And then the big car, and all you have to do and to get the big ones is just bring that back and um, just slap on the bigger drivers onto the back, bring that forward, and yeah. that will cover you for upgrading. You, know, you can delete this back half if you're not if you know if you're not using it, and uh, throw on the the bigger reactor and the bigger ground drive. Yeah, overall this ship is, in my opinion, the best starting ship in the game because it's really easy to build, really cheap to build, and it's really easy to upgrade. Um, so yeah, um, what I'm kind of going to try and do now is do a cut from this to... Um, oh yeah, well, before I do that, uh, I'm, I'm going to cut the head, um, like do a little transition thing to a version of this is way fully upgraded before I do that. So, what's the problem? Ah, too many weapons. Yeah, okay, I actually have too many, so. Ah, max power four. Alright, okay. That would take a lot of Those cannons took up four energy. Max power four. All right. So um, that's another way you can do it. Oh shit! Adios.
Uh, I'm used to playing a modded version of a game where I don't really have to worry about that stuff, so... Yeah. That yeah, gives you a basic build and... Of course. Wrong option. See Music to my... One sword hoplite. So there. This is the version of the hoplite you can buy. And as you can see, it looks very different from the one you can see upstairs. And the reason I think that is here you can. Yeah, so this is the Aegis. This is like a unique ship. I don't know. I'm thinking that maybe the idea was that the hoplite that I just built was supposed to be the hoplite you could buy. And the Aegis was like a unique ship, but something went wrong, and the hoplite just ended up being a clone of the Aegis without, you know, the color scheme. So I imagine this was supposed to look like the one I built, not look like this. Because this was supposed to be a unique ship, like the shield breaker you can buy. Yeah, Sorry so to see you go. That's it, and how to build a pretty solid starting ship. Um, no other ship can hold a candle to a Deimos. It's not even close. We really have all the best weapons as well, available right at the start. Like, I'm only level two Enjoy your stay. right now, so I'm very limited <laughs> in my options. Yeah, I'm going to cut the video here very quickly. Uh, level myself up, come back, record, uh, once I've really upgraded the ship to the max that you can get it. So yeah, I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, and uh, now I'm back again. So for you guys, that was like seconds for me, that was about five, ten minutes, so um... There's no ship um, like a Deimos. Now, so like I said, ship fantastic as a starting ship, I just very quickly leveled myself up to uh, 300 and got myself the engine systems, the pilot tank, and the starship design. So come uh, back soon. Today so is the day. The day you arm yourself with the finest like. death dealing you vessel known to me. Shut up, I'm talking. Oh, Alright. So this is what the ship right will look like. Fully up. So as you can see, I uh, swamped out the one hat that was here for a reactor and a grav drive. Moved this through the back. Uh, the original grav drive is sort of being replaced for storage with an extra storage unit here. These cargo holds hold you know, a pretty decent amount. And then, uh, because I've got rid of the one hab, I've moved it, I've changed it to a companion one, uh, companion way. And then I got two control stations, an all in one berth, and a captain's course, which allows me to have a crew of 10. And I got plenty of engine power for speed, Ability, fuel tanks, um, because of the cargo containers, the ship weighs quite a lot, so that's why I've had to put extra gear back here. And as you can see for weapons, I got two turrets at the front, two turrets at the back, and then uh, you know, uh, just wanted to really show off the missile. You can, you know, you can put four sets of missiles on you, and these missiles are pretty good as well. And then I got these, which are solid baseline weapons. Um, the weapons I would actually recommend is there's a lower level version of this that you can get if you join the Vanguards. Like go do do it to the rest of the Vanguard quest line just until you unlock the guns, which I think is almost straight away. Like uh, you go to the guy, he'll give you a mission, and he'll send you to another guy to get equipped for the mission. And once you've done that, if you go to the um, the ship technician, you should be able to buy the Vanguard version of these. In the Vanguard version of these, you can have like um, two on each wing and one on uh, one on each of these as well. And it's a lot of firepower in the Vanguard versions. Same with the Vanguard missile launchers. Um, so yeah, do the Vanguard questline just to unlock them and that will give you a really impressive array, array of firepower. Pretty much, and I think the Vanguard weapons you get pretty much straight away actually, I don't even think you have to wait for them. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what that will be because they're basically just, um, they're, uh, what is it, 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 what is it,
but they take up way less power, so you can have like six, I think even eight of them, all at once. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's the build guide for the Hoplite. It's, like I said, in my opinion, it's one of the best ships in the game. Um, in almost every playthrough I've ever done, I've had a variant of this Hoplite ship built for that playthrough. It's easily one of my favorite ship designs in the whole game, and it's just really a solid, useful ship. And it's so easy to build. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, there's not much really <laughs> more to say. Um, you know, so uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, Pop it down in the comments and I will answer and yeah that's pretty much it like I said this is in my opinion the easiest ship to build yourself in the whole game it's because you're not gonna see it very often outside of the simulator and I don't think I've seen any of the other um, UC pilots using this ship it's easily one of the most unique ships in the game that will still fit in perfectly with the game Especially if you're going down the UC quest line and you're doing the Vanguard stuff, it, it fits really perfectly. And I am just gonna... I'm just gonna do a tour of the ship as well. When you get you serious the, about your spacecraft, yeah, yeah, come back to Damon. So plenty of room for a full crew of eight, because even though it says you can have ten, I don't think you can have more than eight. Um, I think cabin safe is here, and the terminal is here. So uh, yeah. I am just gonna. Like I said, in my opinion, probably the best ship in the game, and like you know, this is me fully maxing it out. If you decide to use the Vanguard weaponry, um, those big, huge reactors that go on the back, they kind of change the profile to be less sleek because it gives you a big tail end. Don't necessarily have to use those. Uh, you can just get like the best, the small versions, and pop them and then keep them underneath the ship and keep the same sort of level. Um, you know, pattern. You don't have to. You don't have to put the big engines on. I just showed that you can do it, and the ship still sort of keeps the same design. Yeah. Get a pretty solid fire rate. this video and I hope this helps.